Hello there, beautiful people. And let's flip to today's page. And don't forget, if we, when we reach a thousand subscribers, I will give out two thirty-dollar gift cards to Amazon. And today's thing is draw your birth month and draw something noteworthy about your birth month. And I decided to write something very noteworthy about my birth month, which I was born in July, so I had to write red, white, and blue, because, you know, like, yeah, 4th of July, and then something very noteworthy, in my opinion, is that Harry Potter was born on July 30th, and then I just draw a little lightning bolt, and then color in Harry Potter very messily, I did not mean to make it look that bad. Yeah, things happen. Then I just... What am I doing? Putting a marker. Then I decide to start sketching out here in Potter. I did use a reference photo. It was very nice. I could not get his chin very right. Then I start his nose and his smile, his glaciosos, and then I try to draw his neck. And then I start on his little, like, tie thingy, and then I start to draw his cloak, pretty sure that's what it's called, or a robe, whatever you want to call it. And then I start to draw out his arm. Do a little hole for his fist. Also, have you watched other episodes? Hope you have. And on Harry Potter's arm, I'm drawing Hedgewig, which I could not get her. I, I was just thinking about if I should like do her eyes or not. So I was thinking about it, debating. And then I decided to draw her eyes. See, look, I drawed her eyes. And I just draw the stripes on Harry Potter. Draw the other stripes and then fine line it. So I'm kind of new with the fine liners. I kind of thought that it, it, the fine liners are like decimals. And what I decided to use was zero, zero, five. And it worked out very well. It's very thin. Sorry for the background noise, my family's loud. Then I fine line in Hedgewig, draw it in their eyes, well, colored in their eyes. And I started to color in Harry's skin, and I forgot to erase my sketch. Gotta get that good, very well. And I start coloring his skin again. Start on his hair, which is very nice, very nice. Then I color in his tie and his little stripes, and then I start to color in his shirt, and then his robe or cloak, whatever you want to call it. And then I fine lined the lines again since they were starting to get covered by the color pencil. Then I sharpen my color pencil, keep on coloring, and coloring the cloak or robe. And yeah, and then I fine line those edges. Sorry for my head pop. I still have not gotten my chair. Now we're at the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!